By the end of this video, you're gonna know the three best hashtag strategies you need to be using right now on YouTube so that YouTube knows exactly who to push your content to. On top of that, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best tags that you need to be using every time you post on YouTube and two other settings. Because if you're doing any of these things wrong, it's the reason YouTube is showing your content to the wrong audience, they're not watching it as long as they need to, and then boom, you're not getting the views that you want on YouTube. But if you simply make these changes, it's gonna skyrocket the reach you're getting. Like this creator right here that has literally been able to gain over 100 150,000 subscribers after making the changes I'm gonna share with you in this video. And they're over 60 years old and they're in a niche that is really small. So what's your excuse? Hashtag strategy number one is gonna be two niche specific hashtags and then hashtag shorts. Now something you need to recognize here is those niche specific hashtags need to fit two different criteria. First and foremost, they need to be relevant to whatever you're posting about. All a niche specific hashtag means is that the hashtag is gonna be relevant to whatever the post is about. On top of that, you need need to be choosing the largest hashtags possible. If you go to type a hashtag in on YouTube, it is going to show you how large it is and how large other hashtags like it are. You want to make sure that you're using the ones that are the most specific and the biggest because this gives the most data to YouTube so that they know exactly who to show your content to. Now, there are two other hashtag strategies and the last one I share with you is by far the best, but before we dive into that, I need to make sure that you're not making these three big hashtag mistakes. Hashtag mistake number one, using irrelevant hashtags, like I shared with you before. If you use the wrong hashtags, your content will get shown to the wrong people, and then as a result, you are not going to get the engagement metrics, which will result in you not getting the views that you want. Secondly, you should only be using hashtags in the title of YouTube Shorts. Do not use your hashtags in your titles on long form content. It is not going to help you out. And in fact, it's not going to help you grow at all. On top of that, you need to make sure that you are not using hashtags that are longer than the actual title that you're using. For example, you don't want your title to be 60 characters and then your hashtags be 70 characters. Now that wouldn't be possible because there's a character limit on YouTube titles, but you understand the point that I'm making. You don't want your title to just be a bunch of different hashtags because it makes it really hard for the YouTube algorithm to actually pick up who they should be showing your content to. And ideally, you want your title to show above the fold and your hashtags really just to help with that metadata that will help your content get pushed further by YouTube. Hashtag strategy number two are going to be two niche specific hashtags. And remember, these need to be the largest niche specific hashtags that you can go after and they need to be the most relevant. Now, before we get into the last and best hashtag strategy that makes the most small channels on YouTube go viral, we have to go over the best tags for you to use and those two secret settings that you need to make sure that you're turning on so YouTube actually shows your content to the right people. Now, when it comes to tags on YouTube, there are two different sets of tags that you need to be concerned with. The first set of tags, if you come into details here and scroll down, are going to be the tags that show up here. But just focusing on those isn't going to be all that you need to do. You also need to be focused on the tags when you come into settings, you come into channel, and see these keywords right here. Now these channel tags, these are where you're going to put the really broad things and all of your competitors. Now ideally, you can have 500 characters here. I would put anywhere above 400. So if you watch my channel, you know this, but I post about Instagram, I post about YouTube, I post about TikTok. My name's Robert Benjamin, which is why I have all of these different things here. Essentially what I did, so all the different search terms I wanna be able to rank for on YouTube, I went ahead and put them in my channel tags. And this is going to increase the rate that YouTube actually has the correct audience for my content. On top of that, what you need to make sure that you do is go to youtube.com slash verify. If you haven't done this and it doesn't show that your account is verified, it's going to be the reason that you are getting zero views in your content or that you're not getting very many views at all. So again, let's come back over here. These are gonna be your channel tags and then we have your post specific tags. Now what you need to make sure that you're doing is looking at your competitors. For example, if I come over to YouTube, vidIQ is going to be one of my competitors. If I type them in right here and go under here, guess what I'm gonna see? If I'm able to click into one of these videos, like I'm gonna click into this one, and then I move myself out of the way right here, I come down to overview, and I scroll down. Actually, I want to go under, yep, overview, and I scroll down right here. This is going to show me all of the different channel tags for vidIQ, and if I go under here, it is going to show me the tags that they used in this specific video. So. 
as we can see right here, these are all of their channel tags. Now this example right here isn't great because it's actually an unlisted video that they only have shown here. So if we come over here and now click on this, go to here, overview, come down, this is going to show the tags that they actually used on this video. And what this is going to show me is what tags they're using. And I bet that you can figure out where I'm going with this. You want to go through to all of your different competitors, see what channel tags are using. And then if you're creating content similar to another topic somebody else did, for example, this video about the best hashtags or the best tags to use, I'm going to type in best tags on YouTube. And then what I'm going to be able to see is I'm going to see some other people that made content on this topic. For example, this one right here, I'm going to again, come on an overview, I'm going to scroll down right here, I'm going to be able to see all the different channel tags for think media. And then I'm also going to be able to see all the different video tags. Now what I can do is I can copy and paste this and then literally use these in my content because obviously, it worked for this piece of content that got over 100,000 views in just two years. So if you want to be able to get views like that, you need to be using tags like what your competitors are doing. Now, if you want to get the tool that I'm showing you in this video that is going to show you exactly what tags to use and exactly what channel tags you can use, and you can spy on your competitors and see what they're doing differently, well, you need to go to the pin comment below and register for vidIQ today. In fact, you can get started with vidIQ for just $1 for the next 30 days. It's an absolute no brainer. It is going to help you get more views on YouTube more subscribers on YouTube and ultimately get monetized on YouTube way quicker because you're going to be able to see exactly what kind of content your audience is engaging with, what tags they're using, and what channel tags you need to be using so you get more views. So what are you waiting for? Go to that pinned comment below and register for vidIQ right now. Now it doesn't stop there. Just because you're using the right tags and the right channel tags doesn't necessarily mean YouTube is going to show your content to the right audience. The other thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is coming into the details of your post. And you could do this on a long form video or on a short and you need to scroll down because you need to make sure that two things are done correctly. First and foremost, if you were uploading a piece of content that you don't think your past viewers are going to be interested in, you need to come down to this right here, publish to subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. So you want to unclick this if one, you don't think your current subscribers are going to be interested in this piece of content. Two, you've paid for subscribers before in the past, or three, you've had a video go viral that got you a lot of subscribers that isn't the typical content that you upload on your channel. And for most of you, you probably have had one of these three things happen. So what's happening is you leave this clicked and then guess what happens? YouTube shows your content to those people that clearly aren't interested in it and then boom, you do not get the metrics that you need and YouTube doesn't push out your content like you had planned on them pushing out your content and ultimately you just wasted your time creating the piece of content you created. But that's not the only thing you need to be paying attention to. You also need to come down here to category. You need to make sure that the right category is actually chosen because if you choose the wrong category, again, YouTube is going to say, oh, we don't have an audience for this piece of content. And then guess what ends up happening? You just don't get the views that you want because you showed your content to the wrong people. This brings me to the last and most important hashtag strategy that you need to be using, which is going to be four niche specific hashtags. Now, I do want to note a few things. In the past, in a lot of my videos, I said that hashtag shorts would help you get more views on shorts. As you can see, that isn't the case anymore. In fact, hashtag shorts was only used in one of these hashtag strategies, the first one, and it was used with niche specific hashtags. So what I'm really trying to share with you in this video is that one, you need to be spying on your competitors to see what channel tags they have and what video tags they're using. Two, you need to make sure you're turning on the right settings so YouTube shows your content to the right people. And three, the hashtags that you're using are really now going towards almost all niche specific hashtags and different strategies of niche specific hashtags because shorts is beginning to become saturated so YouTube knows that you uploaded a YouTube short. Now they just need to know exactly who they need to show it to so that you can get the best engagement on your content. And if you want to be able to increase the amount of engagement that you're getting, you need to make sure that you understand what content you should be posting and how to actually improve your content. Now let me ask you a question. Wouldn't that be easier if you had somebody like me literally telling you everything you need to be doing differently or what title to use? or even what content you need to make, well, that could become a reality if you watch this video right here where I explain the three different ways that we can work together so I can help you grow quicker on YouTube, guaranteed. And ultimately, you're going to be able to get more views, more subscribers,
subscribers and get monetized way faster if you have somebody else helping you that's already done this all before.